Hey there, I'm Jamie New, the founder of Smartest You, and in this video you're going to learn how to handle rejection. When you're done watching this, comment and let all of us know what you think, and also make sure you check out the description of this video to download your awesome toolkit of our top 10 templates and guides on artist management. Okay, so I've spoken with and surveyed enough of my readers and students to know that about 50% of them, both managers and artists, have a crippling fear of being rejected. A fear that stops them from asking for things that they want or a fear that stops them from going after and doing things that they want. It stops them from doing things like contacting gatekeepers they uh, want to work with or creating something and putting it out to the world at all. Um, and if this at all sounds like you, I want you to know that you are not alone and that it's all going to be okay and I want you to keep watching this video because here's the thing, if you're putting yourself out there in any capacity, you're going to get rejected. If you're putting your art out there or the art of the artist you manage out there or you're working in the music industry in general, you are going to get rejected. The solution is not to avoid getting rejected, it's to learn how to navigate the feelings that go with being rejected. So in this video, I want to talk about a few uh, ways you can learn to handle it better through a few things I've learned and overcome on my journey of rejection. <laughs> so firstly, you need to address your confidence in yourself. I believe once you've addressed any confidence issues you might have, it'll help to naturally handle any failure or rejection you come across because confidence is a skill that can be learned and perfected even if you weren't born with it or aren't just or just not feeling confident right now. If you feel like you could use a boost in your confidence right now, I want you to do these four things. If you feel super confident right now and don't give a crap about building your confidence, I still want you to do these four things. So stick with me. Number one, write down a list of everything you're proud of. Number two, write down a list of all of your skills and not just music business or, or management related. Write down everything. Number three, write down a list of the three, of three things you can change in your behavior to influence your confidence from the outside in. Why? Because confidence can come from external behaviors which then affect your internal feelings. Um, it can be something so small like dressing better. I put on a nice uh, jacket and a hat today and I already feel better. Putting on some makeup or speaking more certainly or with more certainty. Fourth, get to work on bringing those things into your life on a daily basis. So turn your proud moments, your top skills, your confidence building behaviors into a to-do list. Think, how can I bring these things back into my life on a daily basis? Even if just in baby steps. If you want, pause this video and write all those things down before I dive in because when you're confident and something doesn't work, you just keep you don't just keep praying that everything will go perfectly. You don't pray for less rejection. You just tell yourself, that's fine. I'll just move on to the next one. Um, and I don't see rejection as failure. I see it as learning. So feel the fear, learn from your mistakes, and do better next time. The second tip I have for you is a huge part of being better um, at handling rejection, which is to be rejected and know that it's coming. The more um, you're rejected, the better you'll be at handling it. And the more you can expect to be rejected beforehand, the easier it is to hear it when the time comes. So I'm here to tell you, not everyone is going to accept you, not everyone is going to like you, not everyone is going to like your artist's music, and some may hate it. You will be rejected, you will be disappointed, you will hear the word no a lot, and that's okay. Holding grudges against gatekeepers or fans who turn you away or reject you um, and then taking no action at all won't help your business and it won't help the artists you manage and it won't help you get stronger. So I want you to do something today that will take you one step closer to acting on something you've been fearing, especially if it relates to fear or rejection. Or do something that you 100% know will result in rejection just so you can purposely feel the pain and learn to move past it faster. Either way, just know ahead of time that if you do get rejected, it is okay and tell yourself, that's fine, on to the next one. Which brings me to tip number three. I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. And that reason is to teach you something or to bring you something better down the line. So if you're being rejected, just know that it's the universe working in your favor and that it wasn't meant to be this time around. The universe is protecting you from something. So 
if you attempt to get signed at a certain label and they reject you, believe that it wasn't meant to be and something better will come along later. And last but not least, I have a quote from Jim, Jim Ron, one of my favorite quotes of all time. And Jim Ron is Tony Robbins' original mentor. And if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, I ask that you stop living under a rock and YouTube who he is. So Jim Ron says, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. And don't wish for less challenges, wish for more wisdom. If you liked this video, comment with your thoughts. Remember to check the description for your links and free downloads. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and share it with your music friends. And thank you very much for watching.